Hi, my name is Perry Walker, and I've been a speech therapist for 25 years, and I've been with Children's Therapy Center for 12 years. And today I'm gonna to talk about oral motor skills and some oral motor exercises that you can do at home. But what is oral motor? It refers to the fine motor movements in our mouth that we use for speech and eating. And we would want these movements to be nice and coordinated and smooth. So the exercises I'm gonna talk about are things that will help with that. So sometimes kids are having difficulty coordinating these muscles for eating, and sometimes they're having difficulty coordinating these muscles for talking, and sometimes both. So I just wanna give you some ideas of things you can do at home. So I have this fun little bag right here, and I'm just gonna pull out some fun things that you probably already have around the house. For example, bubbles. Who doesn't love bubbles? Bubbles are a great way to work on um, breath support, lip strength, and it's really fun. And the key with all these exercises is to make it fun. Because I think sometimes kids know that it's hard, but if they know they're having fun, they're gonna be more willing to do it. So a little trick I wanna show you, or tell you is, blowing through a wand can be really, really hard. So I don't know if this is gonna work. But if you catch the bubble, you can start out by having the kid, your child, blow the bubble off. So sometimes it's hard for them to blow it through, but if they blow it off first, then they get the kind of the practice of puckering their lips and pushing the air through, then eventually they can blow through the wand. So that's a fun way to work on lip strength that will help with talking and drinking and eating. And now I'm all sticky. Probably should have thought of that. Okay, so, so the next oral motor activity you can do at home, and I'm just gonna apologize for any loud sounds, are horns. And so what you wanna do is, you can find any of these horns at any store, is you wanna make sure that the child is not biting the horn and they're just using their lips like this and blowing through the horn. And that's good practice again for breath support, for lip strength, tongue retraction, and you can get a variety of horns and have them practice. But the key is make sure they're sitting down and not biting it with their teeth because you want their lips and tongue doing the work. Who doesn't love fun. crazy straws? This is a fun way to work on lip strength, tongue retraction with a crazy straw. And again, you always want to make sure that the child is not biting with their teeth, but they're just putting their lips and sucking through. And it's hard, it's hard to work because of all the curves. And that's just a fun way to look, work on lip strength. Again, tongue retraction, tongue movement that you need for speech and eating. So I'm gonna stick with the straw theme. So that's one thing for drinking, but another fun thing you could do is just get a basic straw and cotton balls. And you and your child can have turns. I might be able to demonstrate it because I don't have a table. You could have a straw, they could have a straw, and you can just blow it across the table back and forth. And that's also a good way to work, again, on breath support, lip strength, tongue retraction. Again, try to make sure they're not biting, but just using their lips. That's something fun you can do. Another thing you can do is make funny faces in the mirror and do it together so they can imitate you. And here are some examples. You can open your mouth wide like an alligator and say, ah. You can pucker your lips for a kiss and make the ooh sound. Ooh, really, really over exaggerate. Ooh. And you can smile with a big e. And then you can make funny faces putting them together, saying ooh, e, ooh, ah, and just be silly, as silly as you can. And you also can move your tongue around, side to side, out, and just make fun with it. But try practicing in front of the mirror and try practicing with your child so they don't feel you know, embarrassed or alone and just make it a fun bonding time. Okay, so the key is to make it fun. And the importance of building oral motor skills, oral motor coordination, it will help with their speech production and any and eating and chewing if they're having difficulty. And it's a fun way to work on this skill and it's something you, you can do together. Um, it's very beneficial. Um, but if you're feeling like there's more involvement and maybe some of these exercises aren't working or you need more guidance, you are welcome to contact any of us 
any of the speech language pathologists at CTC. We would love to answer any of your questions. If you're an existing client, you can definitely come talk with us. If, if you need to, you can ask your doctor for a referral for a speech language, an oral motor speech language evaluation, and we would be happy to do that and answer any questions.